Welcome everyone to our Monday morning Global Heart Resonance Call. And um, many of you might notice that we're here coming together at a different time. And we are going to meet for the summer and to just see how this feels at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern. And many of us have been meeting at this time for many, many, many years, over six years. And it seems to really work really beautifully. So we invite you into the space so that you can have this experience of coming and diving into this unified field. Um, for those that are new, I'm Shelley Darling and here standing as a founding steward for good of the whole and giving all of us an opportunity to really gather together, open and receive the nurturing of the field itself. So as stewards of good of the whole, which we all are, we're all really living in our fullest expression of who we be and, and how we are coming forth as a unified whole being in service to the greater whole. And cultivating a new worldview. And this worldview is of wholeness. So we've had this experience of speaking to oneness, but there's something when we even just say this word whole, whole beings, wholeness, right? We, we feel into this generative field of mutual connection and support. So this call is really meant to open us into this infinite creative potential through a very laser beam focus of listening to what's emerging and really tracking the frequency of this field as it raises our vibration, right? So we're gathering here at the watering hole. And for those of you that are new, um, who's on the computer, just simply up at the top, you can pick gallery view or speaker view, and that will give you a, a view of the whole template of all of us, the fractals of this beautiful um, call this morning. And if you're on the phone, you can get on the Zoom app, and that will also swipe left, and you'll be able to see who's on the call. And, and we invite that. You know, it's, it's a practice. We're coming together as a restorative practice, you know, to really um, become that full reflection of this wholeness. So it's great to see each other and, and learn to hold these senses as one unified consciousness. And this morning, I'm really excited to, um, we have Henry Leffler, who really brought in today's focus, the dynamic feminine, and also want to um, recognize what's going on in uh, the tidal field you know, that we are coming from a new moon and, a, and an eclipse and moving into a, another full moon and a total lunar eclipse, as well as this 8-8 portal, the Lion's Gate. And this is a very powerful, auspicious time. And this is the energy of this field that we're tapping into this morning. So um, we're just going to start with a few minutes of resonance, we always do. And then I'm gonna pass the talking stick to Henry, who's gonna um, open up uh, the focus for the call today. Share in, if you haven't seen that, he'll be sharing that. And um, also I will then just come in and just give a few guidelines for how this call works. In fact, I'm gonna just do it right now so I don't have to um, shift. So for those that are new, simply, we invite you for this participatory call and just to, when you do speak, just share your name and speak one to two minutes. You can speak more than once, um, but we invite you to really take that deeper pause in between each person to really feel and allow the feel to inform each one of us. What is it that it wants to say through us and as us? and that we are whole beings. And so we're speaking to the field, to in present time. So you might get very excited about something that someone says, 
And the tendency might be sometimes to focus on that person, but we're inviting you as if we're envisioning us as a circle and we're speaking to the center. And we're simply speaking from our own experience and sharing that bottom line. So with that, Henry, oops, oh, yes, you asked, sorry. <laughs> Let's just close our eyes for a moment. As we open to receive these higher frequencies of love, support, and connection. And we're just breathing in to our heart, this beautiful rose chamber of our heart. And we're simply softening our bodies, allowing this deep anchoring of energy into the earth, way down deep into her crystalline nature. And this, as if we were just these little children putting our toes into the mud, really feeling those layers of humus and rock. And we just allow her to speak up as we're taking that breath in and feeling this Gaia's love and nurturing, allowing ourselves to feel the connection of the waters between us and allowing this energy to rise up through the chakras, up into the heart and expand upward, opening our crown chakra to receive. What is it that we're needing to hear today? What's wanting to come through? We are one source consciousness and breathing this beautiful column of light down back into the heart and feeling the sense of this toroidal field of energy, the spirillic movement, always moving into its highest potential, always moving us into its highest potential. And we begin this morning in deep gratitude for all those that are coming together and standing for love, standing for truth, and standing in compassion and courage. I'm just settling in and Henry, I pass you this beautiful talking stick. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I discovered this reading in the book, The Global Heart Awakens, that I picked up a while ago. I just started reading it and opened to this passage. And we are certainly living in dynamic times. So the doorway of this circle helps us to really be on the forefront of that dynamic movement. So where the cross was the symbol of the static masculine, rigid and linear, logical and deterministic, the dynamic feminine is symbolized by a spiral moving out from the center or heart of the cross. The spiral breaks down rigidity and separation of the arms of the cross, moving towards a circular flowing expansion. But unlike the static feminine, circle of containment 
the, spi the spiral has not limits. It is not fixed, permanent, or repetitively cycl cyclic, but nonlinear and ever expanding. That's from uh, Anodia Judith. And then there's another quote that was in that book as well from Gareth Hill. The tendency of the dynamic feminine is undirected movement toward the new, the non-rational, the playful. It is the flow of experience, vital and spontaneous, open to the unexpected, yielding and responsive. In its highest aspect, the dynamic feminine is the synthesizing creation of new possibilities and new combinations. It is insight, awareness, gnosis that comes only through actual experience. Its effects are the uplifting ecstatic inspiration that comes from the experience of transformed awareness. Its central value is eros, not in the image of the arrow shot from the bow of Amor, but that which is awakened by the arrow's piercing. Its attributes are participation and process. And I just want to read a little of the paragraph that came after that, because I think it's important. So sorry for this longer reading, but it says those who are bringing the dynamic feminine to life are not just women, but males and females who seek ecstatic experience through connecting inner realms with outer community. Ecstatic means ecstasis or outside the realm of stasis. Raves, bhakti fests, kirtans, music festivals, yoga conferences, rainbow gatherings, burning man, and multimedia concerts and pagan festivals are all examples of individuals coming together for a group ecstatic experience. The spiritual emphasis is on reclaiming divine ecstasy that had been largely lost among the rules, regulations, and dogma of the static masculine era. So I, did you want to read that other section, Shelley? No, okay. Yeah, let's just open the call and invite people to um, just share what's moving within you. And we pass this beautiful crystalline talking stick. Welcome everyone and welcome people that are just joined us. So as you feel that emergent voice, just trust yourself, take yourself, don't forget to take yourself off mute. And um, the one thing I didn't mention is please share your name, just for those people that are on the phone who are just listening and can't see each one of us. And so it is. The talking stick is up.
This is Henry. Oh, say something. Oh. Additional that's coming to mind is that uh, Rumi, great poet Rumi, a lot of his writings, maybe most of his writings were, were done while he was whirling, while he was moving and his students would write down what came through. So I guess I'm just opening or that seemed that, that as we would kind of open or through movement, through dance, through the spiral, through the non-static, that new possibilities can emerge if we, if we allow them complete. This is Kundi. This is love in action. You are that. The lighted ones are rising all over the globe. Keep coming forward, keep coming forward. This is powerful, powerful meeting place. I'm drinking from the well of love and I am grateful, eternally grateful. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Shelley, for hosting. I'm complete. And Kate will carry on. And as we join together and play together and and do this new dance and uh, you know I, I i'm so aware that some of the people on the, i just feel like i'm with the most powerful voices on the planet and and i hear them like on a regular basis and just have this knowing that all is well and so i guess i just say Thank you for showing up, for playing together, for sharing your wisdom, for sharing your words, for sharing your beauty. And who knows where we go from here? I'll return the talking stick. This is Shelley, and um, just uh, what's been very interesting in, in, in resonance with this call today is, you know, when I, when the divine, when the um, dynamic feminine gets spoken about, like, I get this, these images of energy moving and, you know, sharing, you know, speaking our voices out loud and standing and standing tall and yet what's really interesting for me right now is this sense of um coming all the way in i feel that guy is like calling come in come in and have that movement of going out be in total alignment with the essence of nature herself and that feels really different i notice a sense of um, and maybe it's just the astrology that all that's happening, but I feel um, this dy diamond, diamondism is, has to do more with relaxing in and um, almost like I watched this video of the albatross and how the albatross have these sort of big bellies and they kind of walk, but they're very solid on earth. And then 
in order to take flight, they have to gather their whole body to make that flight. And when they do as fledglings, they don't have to land for three to five years. In fact, they don't until it's time to have that regeneration process and have children. And, I, and I'm feeling that in terms of, you know, this divine feminine, th that it's, it's a balance of the inner nature of, of the truth of, of who we are. And that's the call. Because in the past, my tendency has been just get out there, get out there, you know, serve, serve, serve. And, and now I feel like it's feel into that inner deliverance of communion and connection with this whole being, which is inclusive of the earth. So I don't know, I just wanted to move, but I, I'm complete and whole and pass over the talking stick. Good morning, everybody. It's Nancy in California, for those I don't know. And I'm looking around at all your faces, and there's new faces and some older faces and phone numbers and names that I don't know. What I think is so incredible, really incredible, and I, I think I take it for granted, and maybe many of us take it for granted, that they're, we're not strangers. I just think that's so amazing to see new people and connect from the loving energy and feel, feel the same frequency. And I just kind of take that for granted. Oh, yeah, I can pop on and feel akin to a group of people I don't know. And yet we do know each other. And I just think that's, that's just a miracle. And I'm so appreciative of this format that brings us together and allows us to connect on a heart level. And I'm just reminded today that that's, that's like a miracle. That's uh, somewhat thanks to the internet for moving this along, for Shelly for uh, organizing it, but just for all of us for participating and for coming forward so we can feel the connection and that's really powerful and sometimes i forget how powerful that is so i'm very happy to just be with all of you today i'm complete morning everyone this is june from california and as i was listening to the words spoken today what came to my mind was an experience i had over the weekend i was taking my granddaughters um up to a lake house uh, that one of my daughters has and they were busy. One was sleeping actually in the back. Another was listening to their music. And I was just driving along and it was about seven o'clock, 7.30, um, somewhere around in there. And all of a sudden the sky began to turn this dark, dark, beautiful orange, gold, pink color. It was just, it was just amazing. And I, <laughs> Before I really noticed the color, what I noticed was that my heart just opened. It was as if it just opened its front and, and was totally exposed to the most incredible invitation. I'll use mm -hmm. the word love, but it was something different than love in that it was it was whole, it was complete, it was it was as if the universe had opened up and invited me in, in the complete joy of just recognizing, realizing mm. the beauty, not only of the sky, but the beauty of the connection of 
each and every one of us. And as I drove along, I, I kept marveling in the fact that the, the sunset didn't go away. It took almost 15 minutes as I was driving along and out the coast and each turn brought me a different example or different picture of this incredible um, love and opening and touching so deep in inside of mm. me and all other things. There was, there was only one. That's all there was, was a sense of this oneness and this sense of incredible belonging and love. And I was, I was just absolutely taken aback by the fact that every day there are places where I, if I'm willing to touch into this, what I'm going to call here, the inner feminine, because it, it'll, it's what I allow in, it's what I connect with, and then offer my deepest awarenesses and feelings too. Um, and I'm just, I'm still just thinking about those 15 minutes as I was driving and the, the fact that my face smiled, my body smiled before I even recognized what was happening. But the touching into it, the, the recognition of it is what really brought it to its fullness, that, that stopping and not thinking about anything else but joining that that energy and that beauty was like 15 years of healthy eating and sleeping and thinking. And I just, I just needed to share that because I, I will never forget it, no matter how many uh, more sunsets I see and how many thousands I've seen before and had incredible experiences too, but we are at a time, I really believe we are at a time when we can touch in at depths we've never even thought of before and that that's what's being called for. And so our call today and the words spoken and the, the energy and, and resonance shared is, uh, is growing and expanding and asking us to, to share with it and everyone else and so thank you for being here today and thank you for all of your love and openness and i'm complete and pass the talking stick on hi this is deborah and i'm just um touching in real quickly i'm sitting on the the rim of the rio grande um in northern New Mexico, and I'm off the grid except for the fact that I do have some cell signal, but I don't have much juice on my phone, and I'm about to walk down the side of the canyon into down to a, a big artesian springs, which is part of the river, and I just wanted to touch base and say I appreciate all of your energy so much thank you i am complete This is Shelley, and I just feel like following that thread just for a moment. So I love how the field informs us, because as soon as I heard the word river, and I had that image of walking down to that river, <clears throat> to that spring, I feel that is the voice of the feminine moving through us and as us. 
that when we tap into this river or we connect with a, a primal water spring, we are tapping into all of the Akash field. And this matriarchal voice that rises up from that awareness that we are this river. It's just so endearing. And I'm just feeling really humbled in this moment, just from the energy that's bubbling up from this collective force of love. And I'm complete, thank you. This is Henry. Really appreciated in the readings the, the part of opening to new possibilities, which is the, the place or the heart of the origination of the divine feminine new possibilities in each moment and the unexpected that we are we are all here at the watering hole to open to to what is emerging i guess what is emerging is also connected to the dynamic feminine um who is a Greek philosopher that once expressed, if, if you do not expect the unexpected, you may never find it because it is both subtle and difficult. So, so we are here kind of, kind of in worship for what is emerging. And to me, I also feel that it's very connected to the metamorphosis, the impulse of creation within each of us, which is that, that field of all possibility. And as, um, so anyway, just wanted to add that. I feel complete. This is Julie, and um, 
it's an interesting um, emergence for me listening in this moment because I'm just have been losing the me so much that there is really there's no me and from that place of emergence we are the expression of source we're the expression of wholeness we're expression of the emergence we are the emergence we are the sunset as well as that river and and being in that place is um, that place of, of fertility, that place of, of creation, expressing herself, is a beautiful experience to be there. I um, just want to acknowledge a thread that came into my um, life earlier this morning was a 24-year-old young man who's literally holding the field, expressing as the field, and using language that is like a 80-year-old sage would use of really what is this oneness, this wholeness, and this expression of this unified field as us as we are one and so i'm just sharing this piece because as i've been listening it's it's so delightful to imagine this waking around the planet on every continent in every country and even in prague with a 24 year old young man who's speaking from this essence that we're holding right in this moment so yummy and delightful and i'm just i just sit in deep gratitude for that and with that i'm complete This is Nancy again. And yesterday, my daughter, uh, who lives about an hour away from me, came up near my house to, with, a, with a friend, a young man who's her friend, who's 30, and they went skydiving. And uh, so they were so close by that they came for dinner. And this young man, who's only 30 years old, is somebody that could plug into this call at this moment and be totally in tune in frequency at home with this energy. And it was so refreshing to spend some time with a 30-year-old young man who, who was in this space. And it was so, it was encouraging. It was inspiring. It was, uh, I don't know, it something, it sparked something in me to have hope or of excitement of a new generation of young men coming into our planet at that age, getting it. And it was just so delightful. It, it, it just uplifted me the way it uplifts me just to be with you now. And, but it was, a it was a little different because most of the time our calls that we've been on are older women for the most part, not old, but older and um, young at heart. <laughs> but boy, was that an exciting thought that a new generation of young men are, have come into this planet to be part of this new feminine energy and be balanced with it and be at home with it and be leaders and ambassadors of it. It's just such a beautiful experience, and it, it, it's neat to be able to have this experience with you now 
but it's even more exciting when you have this experience with somebody else somewhere else and realize it's all it's all one i'm complete Morning. This is Karen. From the children, it all comes. These are the children, the wave of the crystalline children that have been coming now, that are coming awake, coming aware, coming strong and powerful, that we were here to help them here to, to kind of blaze the way for them as they arrive, to be of service, yeah. to help them not get lost as they arrive. Many have, but many have not. Going back to the, the beginning thread, um, with the cross and the spiral, before Henry got to the spiral, what came to my mind, and her day was yesterday, was Mary Magdalene. It's the feminine, divine feminine to to Yahshua's divine masculine. And the tantric alchemy between the two, ushering in a new way, a new energy of love. And now it's time. It's time. This is Michelle and I'm in Minneapolis and so happy to be a part of this call as usual and just hearing these threads weaving themselves together and um, envisioning Mary Magdalene serving Jesus at the time that the, the, the masculine needed to rise and serve what was being called forth at that time and now seeing the dynamic feminine being called forth for its time and to recognize in the children just the, that they're here for that and that for those of us who know how to create a safe place for them to be, be who they are meant to be and they are free to be that if we allow them the space they are here to be who they are meant to be just like we were called much earlier than this time even we could have been this earlier but we did not have the space to become what we are being given the space to become now today and to provide that for the children who are here i recognize as one of our greatest gifts that we can offer they just need the space. We need to step out of the way and say, you are okay just the way you are. You are here to serve your time the way you're meant to serve it. And we, we need to be able to teach you the world that you live in, but you need to create the world that you're here to create. And that's the place that we get to see and witness and be a part of. And for that, I'm so grateful just to, just to be able to absorb that and to have the great luxury of raising a beautiful, beautiful boy in this time 
when the masculine gets to rise with the feminine and he gets to be his whole self in a world that has not always allowed that for men or women. And now as men and women, they have that opportunity to create that as we provide that platform. And I've been witnessing this platform that we've been creating for years now. And I recognize that, and I am so grateful that the children get to walk on this platform that you are each a part of. And thank you so much for allowing me to have the courage to create that platform around where I step to and that we get to do this together and separately. And it's beautiful. The world that's coming is so beautiful. And the world where we get to live in our day-to-day -day lives is incredible because we choose it. And the world is way more beautiful, way more beautiful than we're being taught to believe. And so for that, thank you for each of you believing in that, because I know you do or you would not be on this call. Thank you, thank you. Woohoo! dynamic feminine rising. <laughs> this is Kundi in California. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Michelle. I wanted to kind of segue into what I was uh, wanting to read. The grandmothers said, <laughs> and it said, um, what, the, what this is, what's happening, is what you are seeing has been created by what you are doing. You are anchoring light on earth, and at the same time, elevating life on earth. By working with the net of light and embracing a life of loving service, you are having a far greater effect on the energy field of your planet than you thought possible. You believe in science, the grandmother said, yet science has thus far given you only a limited view of creation because it is founded in materialism. Science relates only to the material world, so as yet, there is no scientific explanation for what we are showing you. What you are witnessing here goes far beyond the physical plane. These days, you are seeing with greater vision, and as your vision continues to flower, you will see more and get to know the lighted one you truly are. This lighted one is having a strong effect on your beloved planet. All your life, you've been taught that you are limited that life on earth is limited, but that is not true. You are much more than can be seen with physical eyes. Life is much more than can be seen with physical eyes. Everything we tell you is true. We only speak truth. And because the present times on earth are so difficult, we knew you now needed something to uplift you. You needed to see the truth of your being. What we have shown you today is your own love in action. You have worked so tirelessly with the net of light that at this point, light is lifting you. And as you are lifted, you are automatically lifting others. This is what you are seeing. Yes, it is taking place all over the earth. This is the action of love. What you are seeing is love in action. And you are that. Oh.
Mrs. Oriana. Uh, hmm. I am uh, appreciating the field and communicating from the field. It is what makes this call unique among other community gatherings. Um, that we come together and really feel that we are communicating in feel. The ancient Egyptians speak to the worlds traveling in universes in pairs, a physical world and a non-material realm. And the non-material realm flows into the physical world. And it is this field of the non-material where we can hold the physical world, shaping the future as the template of what is meant to be. And traditionally, it's been held in the arms of the feminine in indigenous groups of the women coming in and holding, shaping the future of the tribe. And this now is expanding to include all that identify beyond gender, that sense of wanting so much to hold the world and awaken that global heart knowing that as it awakens, it is a universal heart. And we recognize the universe is one star in a greater field of celestial being. Oh, and one heart aligns and feels the love and awareness. that as we hold the field and we feel, we bring that into being. I bring the future by holding the timeline that knows that's right. This is what it's supposed to feel. Love, cooperation, harmony, peace, abundance, love. And I am complete. Well, this is Shelley, and um, ooh, it's incredibly melted <clears throat> such deep ways today. And so on this call, we like to um, just 
we're running a little over, but we started a little bit late. So um, we'd like to give the space for anyone who hasn't shared to share. Even if it's just simply your name, just bringing that vibration in if you feel to. And the rest of us that have spoken will just hold the field. And so for those of you that are on the phone, I'm going to unmute you if there was a lot of noise and just feel free to just jump in. And then we'll close our call with the most delicious, yummy vibration. All right. So, um, oh, Carol, did you want to say something? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> um, so I just want to remind everyone that from this point on throughout the summer, and then we'll see how it feels moving forward, that this call will meet at this time. And as you can feel into this feel there's there's no limit to what where we can expand into and deepen into in this in this deep reverent place of wholeness and holiness <laughs> swimming in it this morning so with that everyone can um, take yourselves off mute and I'd like to end with really rippling this vibration, this frequency out through the net of light as the net of light. So simply unmute yourself. And it goes like this. Yum, 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 Thank you for joining us. See you next week. <laughs>